Hello, beautiful people. I'm Clarity Bay, and welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to giving you clear and detailed information to answer the questions that are most important to you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video upload. In this reading, I'm going to tell you what attractive qualities you have, what other people find attractive about you, but you may not see this in yourself. So please take one moment and just meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to tell you what others find attractive about you, but you do not see in yourself. So group one, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, that is how you can help to support my channel. So let's get straight into your reading, group one. You have chosen the green aventurine stone with the beautiful sacred geometry pattern here. And what's so amazing about the green aventurine stone is it is it represents optimism, okay? Especially having optimism in a challenging time. It also helps to bring a luck and prosperity into your life. So group one, let's get straight into your reading and let's find out what do others see attractive about you, but you may not see that in yourself. So you have Felix Felicius, okay? And this is a symbol. This is a power symbol to create a lucky, um, a serendipitous events, okay? And so this is quite confirming, especially since the green aventurine stone is associated with your card. And just to give some clarification here, I do not pre-pick the cards and the stones together. So this is a great confirmation here. So to start out your reading, it's starting out really well, group one. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more energy here. Let's find out more information on what others find attractive about you that you may not see in yourself. You have the emperor. Okay, this is interesting. And you have the Empress back to back, the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, so also this does tell me here that you represent, you know, what's attractive about you is your leadership skills and your leadership abilities. And you have a duality about you, a balance, a balance of um, feminine and masculine energy. And we all have that energy, but you just have this perfect balance of both of those, group one. And with the Empress energy specifically here, this is about uh, abundance as well. So there's lots of abundant energy around you. Uh, group one, uh, spirit, thank you for this confirmation because the empress um, as well as the emperor uh, represents like abundant um, energy, strategic planning, um, and um, movement in that area. So spirit is definitely wanting to give you this message that there's definitely lots of luck and, and, um, and good energy for you, group one. Thank you, spirit. 
okay? And also what people find that attractive about you is that you bring like a lucky, lucky energy and good vibes to like events and things like that. So if you go like to a, a party, a family reunion, anything like that, you have like this very like a lucky vibe about you, this very positive vibe, high rate vibrational, happy vibe about you, very calming. So let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, spirit. You have surrender to your soul. Okay. And you have, you are already whole. See, yes, you represent someone definitely who knows who they are. So you have like, what's attractive about you is your strong self-confidence. And you're not over the top, like out over the top, you know, like the loudest in the room, you know, although there's nothing wrong with that because we all have different personalities, but your energy is just allowed, okay? But it's very soothing. And you represent someone that is definitely very well put together and that's very attractive about you. A very soothing and warm vibe. So let's get more, let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what do others find attractive about group one? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so you have, of course, the dove here. And this says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. And through turmoil, a blessing will be revealed. See, yes. And Spirit just gave us the information regarding events. I can clearly see here that... You are the one that will bring a calmness to any situation, anything that comes up that is, you know, a bit challenging or has a bit of a turmoil, you know, vibration to it. You are very soothing and very calming. So let's get more energy. And thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what? Do others find attractive about group one that group one may not see in themselves? You have the world. Again, a very strong confirmation here, especially with the Empress and the Emperor coming out. Both top cards and the world is definitely the top. Um, very successful. You being the type of person that can start a project and complete it. Others find that very attractive about you. And this is what the world uh, energy represents. It represents success. Someone that if they have a goal, they will complete the goal. And, and it represents um, the energy of receiving, you know, rewards or accolations for your efforts. And, and people find that very attractive about you. You have Eight of Cups. This is quite interesting, simply because the Eight of Cups energy represents a change in how you're able to shift. You know, you're, you're, you're mutable. You can change when you need to, okay? It's also about being able to withdraw your energy as well, to move on when things are not going in the direction that you think that they should go, you have that strength and that courage to move on in a different direction when need be, okay? And you also will retreat and withdraw your energy um, to, to take time out to take care of yourself. And that is what other people find very attractive about you. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Very good here. Eight of Cups here, Seven of Cups here. 
Okay, so the Seven of Cups uh, energy represents someone that has like a lot of choices to make and like a lot of commitments, but you seem to handle those um, pretty well considering how other people may handle having a lot to do, a lot of, on their plate. You're able to balance and handle these things very, very well. So let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Strength card. Yes. So this is definitely a strong confirmation in your reading that you definitely are very strong. You know, you're someone that has uh, self-love, self-respect um, as well, and lots of courage. And I also want to mention too, as well, group one, that you're very beautiful as far as aesthetically um um, beautiful, a uh, very, very beautiful, and you have like a softness about you as far as your looks, very soft and very warm, very dreamy, very gorgeous, okay? And there's something specifically about like, um, maybe like your shoulders, your arms, you know, uh, very elegant as well. Your eyes are even um, very mes mesmerizing, to others. Like, you know how you say the eyes are the window to the soul? So people find your eyes very attractive and very warm. You're very beautiful. So let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Two of Swords here. Okay. So the Two of Swords energy clearly tells me that you can definitely make a decision. And, and you do take time out to compromise with others, you know, especially when you feel like it's right and that it can serve both you and the other person. You're a very fair character. And that's very attractive to others. So let's get more. You have judge. This is quite interesting. And this is interesting again, because this energy here represents um, you being able to balance justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. And that is the information that Spirit just um, gave us with the uh, Two of Swords energy as well as the Strength energy. How you're able to compromise when and, and come to a fair uh, resolution when it comes to all parties involved. And that that is, people find that very attractive about you. So you have Midas and Miser. Okay, so this is quite interesting. <laughs> this is, this energy here, this energy represents your entrepreneurial um, creativity, talents, and abilities to turn anything into gold, okay? And, and, and but you have a delight and sharing your life's riches. And, and people find that very attractive about you. Your gener generous nature, very attractive. So group one, this reading t clearly tells me that you are definitely a very, very beautiful person. Not only um, physical beauty, but spiritually attractive as well with your giving nature the able to and you're able to see um things in a fair way okay you're able to see things in a fair way and be there for those that you are close to and that you love and also 
you're, you're very creative. You're a go-getter and keep that up because I see lots of success and rewards uh, coming to you, especially with the world card coming out here in your reading. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified on my next um, important video message. I am sending you a group one, lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two. I'm Clarity Bay and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to tell you what others find attractive about you, but you don't see in yourself. So group two, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you will not miss an important video message. So let's get straight into your reading group two. You have chosen this gorgeous clear quartz crystal with this amazing sacred geometry pattern. What's wonderful about the crystal that you've chosen, group two, is the clear quartz crystal. It represents the crown chakra, and it helps to bring high vibrations into your energy field. It amplifies your energy as well as strengthen your emotions and your beliefs. So let's get into your reading and let's find out what do others find attractive about you, but you don't see in yourself. Okay, so you have dragonfly. This is interesting. So this clearly tells me that you radiate a light about you and the dragonfly is about, you know, you bring light to this world. So you're very lighthearted. You're the one that's very, when there's something going on as far as something, you know, um, not so good, you're very uplifting, okay? You, you're, you're the light, you know? Uh, it, in the darkness, you light up the darkness. And people find that very attractive about you. So let's get more energy, let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you have Four of Cups. You also have Three of Cups. This is quite interesting. Let me pull a couple of more cards, and then I'll read your energy from there. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Temperance, which is quite nice. And you have the Mother Star. So straight off, the Mother Star energy clearly tells me that you're a very beautiful person. Um, your physical beauty definitely stands out and that spotlight is definitely on you and you have a natural beauty. You don't even have to try hard to be beautiful, you know, and you wear either a minimum amount of makeup or, or none at all. And people still find you a very, very gorgeous group too. So also... The Four of Cups energy here, this energy here clearly tells me that you are very, you like to surprise people a lot with like surprise gifts. So you're very free hearted as well. And you like, you like to surprise others with gifts and they find that very attractive about you. The Three of Cups energy, this is about you being very supportive to your families and your friends. You offer that supportive energy to those that you are close to and, and, and even some that you aren't close to. You do offer comforting um, words of advice. And this 
Three of Cups uh, energy is, is highly confirming with the Dragonfly energy that came out first in your reading. Also with the Temperance card here, I could clearly see here that again, and this is strong confirmation with the Three of Cups energy, how you offer, offer support to your, to your family and to your friends and even to strangers, you're a guiding light. So the Temperance card is strong confirmation with this energy here, as well as the Dragonfly energy. Thank you, Spirit. You offer a healing to, to others. You know, you're, you're balanced. You're, you're a balanced um, human being. And that is so beautiful. People find that very attractive about you. Also, you do things in moderation. Group two, you're not the type of person to do things in excess. You do things in moderation, and that, and people find that very attractive. So let's get more energy. Thank you, spirit. You have only now is real. Okay. That's interesting. You also have choose your life. Okay, so let's get more. I want to pull a couple of more cards here. You have three of wands. And you have ten of wands. Yes, okay. Which is very interesting. So only now is real. I can clearly see that what people really find attractive about you as well is that you have the confidence to do things on your own, okay? Although you support your family and your friends, you do not mind being alone and walking alone and taking care of yourself. You're very independent. The Choose Your Life energy tells me that you do things at the beat of your own drum and it's a very attractive to others. The Three of Wands energy, this energy here, again, it represents you um, working with others. It represents teamwork, you know, and you wanting to see things grow. You wanting to see other people elevate in their lives as well. You're a team player and people find that very attractive about you. The 10 of wands energy. Now this is quite interesting because this here represents like how you deal with stress, how you handle like burdens and things like that. But with this energy, people find that um, you handle stress really well, really well. And as far as your burdens and your day-to-day -day task and things that you have to do, um, that's very attractive about you. So yes, let's get more energy. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more energy. Oh my goodness. All right. So those cards just want to jump out of the deck here. All right. So you have, this is about gratitude and giving thanks. So I can see that you are a very um, conscious person when it comes to gratitude and being thankful. And people find that very attractive about you as well. So maybe some of you post like, on your social media about being very thankful and grateful for things that you have in your life. And, but that's very attractive. This card here is about um, you taking a step back to retreat and to heal and to take care of yourself. This is about self-care and self-love. And Spirit gave us this information earlier in your reading. And so this is definitely another confirmation in your reading and how you're able to take that time out for yourself to retreat and take a step back and take care of yourself. How you love yourself is a very, very, and how you care for yourself is very attractive to other people. This card represents freedom. 
Yes. So I can clearly see here that people, the way that you live your life, the way that you live your life, and even here, choose your life, this card here, this card represents freedom. So the way that you live your life, the way that you live out loud, you do what you want to do when you want to do it. Um, people find that very attractive about you, group two. Let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, spirit. You have a rescuer. Okay. So with this, this tells me that you provide strength and support to others in time of crisis and acts out of love with no expectation or reward. So Spirit gave us this energy earlier as well with the Three of Cups energy here. How you give like total support to your friends and family. That healing energy that also represented the temperance here. Again, more confirmation in your reading. Thank you, Spirit. So yes, you are that light. So see, you bring the light to this world. Again, the Dragonfly energy was your first card that came out. So you have that healing energy, that love energy, and it's very attractive to others. You also have here the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups represents, you know, water again, and it represents your emotions, and it also represents gifts and you giving gifts. You're a gift giver. It represents you also um, thinking about reunions and thinking about getting together and with, you know, family and the people that you are close to, and people find that very attractive about you. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you are informed of my next important video message. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I'm here to give you clear and detailed information to answer the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what others find attractive about you, but you may not see in yourself. So let's get straight into your reading group three. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Lapis Lazuli Stone with this amazing sacred geometry pattern. Now, what's a very interesting about the Lapis Lazuli stone is this stone here encourages creativity, discerning the inner truth, and developing your intuition. So let's get into your reading and let's find out what do others find attractive about you that you don't see in yourself. You have the card Insight. Okay, so insight is about opening the third eye to, to strengthen your intuition. And we just also talked about that with the Lapis Lazuli Stone, which also represents the third eye as well. So this is a very strong confirmation in your reading uh, group three. What I love about this is some synchronicity here too. We're talking about group three. We're also talking about the third eye and the Lapis Lazuli Stone as well as your card. And just to give some clarification here, I do not pre-match the cards up with the stones. I do everything from intuition. So this is strong confirmation from spirit. Thank you, spirit. Wow. So I can clearly see here that people find your knowledge very attractive, your insight, how you express 
the wisdom that you naturally have and because you are a seeker, okay? So I'm sensing some fire energy within you, group three, but let's get more clarification here. A fire sign, either Leo, Aries, um, as well as Sagittarius, but let's get more energy here. Let's find out more. You have the lovers. Okay, this is quite interesting. And you have the Hierophant, which definitely is about knowledge and teachings, okay? The Hierophant energy here. So the Hierophant energy is definitely a strong confirmation in your reading here. Group three, because the Hierophant, it is about... Um, traditions of knowledge and, and, and expressing knowledge as well. But but the uh, lover's card here is about your your warm heart and how you you're when you do express the knowledge that you do have, you do it in a very loving way and you do it because you definitely love. Also um what's very attractive about you is the way that you love okay the deep love that you have okay and others find that very attractive so let's get more energy let's find out more a spirit what else do others find attractive about group three you have page of wands Lots of fire energy here for you. You have the death card. Okay, so I can clearly see here that with the death card, that you have made a strong transformation in your life, um, turning your life completely around. And people find that very attractive. So maybe some of you do post on your social media pages, you know, about, you know, your past and how you were able, able to overcome certain obstacles and that's a very attractive to other people so with the page of wands energy this energy here is definitely about you expressing yourself like an active kid so some of you definitely um radiate um this childlike energy and in other words, you are definitely very connected with your inner child and you definitely look a lot younger than your age. And, and people find that a free spirited uh, nature that you have very attractive. Uh, the page of one's energy also represents how you, you're always very creative and you always have a new outlook or a new creative idea. Okay, so let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. You have Choose Your Life. And you have Only Now is Real. So this is quite interesting. Okay, let's get more. Let's find out more. You have Destroyer, yes, okay. So I can see that you definitely, you do things on your own terms. Lots of high self-confidence, self-assurance that you have. And others find this very attractive. And living in the moment, how you live in the moment. This is strong confirmation with this uh, free-spirited energy. Um, how you, you, you feel that only now is real and living in the moment is very beautiful and the place that you should be because the moment is actually only, the moment is where we are. And so people find that very attractive about you. With the destroyer energy, this is about releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for a new life. So this is a strong confirmation with the death card that came out, how you are able to transform and to begin again, and have you how you have um, overcome, overcome different obstacles and different challenges to get to where you are now. And people find that very attractive about you. Let's get more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so you have the devil. 
this is very interesting. You're very desirable. I can definitely tell you that. You're very desirable. So people find you very desirable. Um, also about how you're able to face your fears. Again, strong confirmation here in your reading that people find very attractive about you. Some people actually, they do fear you because you have been able to do so much, you know, that they're, they're very, they're, they, they're kind of fearful of you. They don't know how you do it. They say like, how does group three do this? How do they do it? But it's very alluring as well. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. You have four of wands. Okay, love this. Because this is representing here freedom, how you're free, you know, and very creative. And also, not only are you free, but you're able to come together with others to create a, a sacred union. And I love this for you because the lover's card came out as well as the four of wands card. And this represents how you have the, the energy and the vibration to be in like a beautiful, you know, like loyal relationship or partnership. That's the vibration that you do give off to others. Let's get more energy here. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so yes, this is representing a, a um, sacred union and like being self-reflective as well. So it says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So I can clearly see here that you own up to who you are. Okay, and people find that very attractive about you. Like you're not so quick to judge another person. And if you do, you don't mind telling people that, hey, I have been here. I have done that. I, I, in other words, you show your vulnerable, your vulnerable side, your vulnerable um, personality. And that is very attractive to other people. Let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. So, yes, you have three of pentacles here. And again, the devil card coming out twice. And it's right over the devil card again. So, yes, this energy here clearly tells me and a very strong confirmation in your reading that you have overcome so much so many obstacles and and you should be very um proud of yourself also just a side note just to let you know so that i do not leave anything out there is um there are people that definitely lust after you as well and in that way, and they find you very attractive in that way as well. Um, and that is what the devil and um, um, energy also represents here. Okay. And um, also, I feel like some of you have been able to overcome some sort of addictions. And, and people find that they admire you for that. And they find that very attractive with the three of pentacles energy here. This energy here clearly, again, tells me about how you're able to work with other people to collaborate, okay? You have great collaboration skills. Um, your craftsmanship abilities are very, very good. You're very creative. So something you work on in a creative manner, some of you are into the arts, maybe singing or dancing and things like that. And, and, and that could be where the lustful energy is coming from, but you have a very highly um, sensual desirability about you. 
that other people definitely find attractive uh, group three. And you may not see this in yourself, but this is what <laughs> the energy is here. So group three, um, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.